Hey guys, in this video we are going to be implement in-app updates in Android using Kotlin. So basically this have two types, immediate flow and flexible flow. Flexible flow for optional update and immediate flow like security patch or bug fixing flow like that we have to show this update checker to user. It's very easy to integrate in our project. In our app level griddle file you need to add so let's open our app level griddle file you need to add this library after adding this library let's start with our main activity in main activity we just declaring the app update manager in our on create we just going to be initialize our app update manager after registering we just register listener to our app manager then we have to check whether this update is available or not if it is update available means we are going to be install that update in our user phone so we checking here flexible update is available or not likewise you can check whether the immediate update is available or not here i just going to be install that uh, we are just going to be install that flexible update after done this one, if the listener always monitoring what is the status of our installing updates. So once our app update downloaded means we just showing some user to some prompt message. For example, if the update is downloaded from user phone means we just showing some snack bar message and update has just been downloaded. So here we just showing OK button or restart button. So once user click this one, we are going to be complete this installation process. First step, we just going to be download the update from Play Store. Then we are going to be install that. Before that, we just showing some confirmation message to user. So this is flexible update. So once user click OK or restart button means we just going to be complete this installation of update, update the process. Then finally, we need to add this one we have to unregister this app manager so this listener is always uh, tracking this data so once this have completed means before on destroy or on back pressed we have to clear this and up update checker so basically this is a very few step first we just going to be initialize then we are going to be register the listener here is the check for update will always check this update is available or not after checking if there is any update available means we just going to be download these updates then we just going to be show this snack bar message if it is downloaded means this listener will trigger this function so here is the snack bar when user going to be click this restart button means it will be install latest version from your phone then finally we have to unregister this listener from our on back pressed or on destroy view if you want to change immediate checker means you have to change app update type flexible to immediate basically two type flexible and immediate you need to change here and you also you have to change here so you have to check whether this immediate update is available or not then you have to install this one immediate update checker so basically this code will be work from your play store version only you cannot run this code in your debug version you have to implement this code in your play store version you have to download that play store version only this code will be applicable to run pop-up like this flexible or immediate pop-up like this so you can get this code from our github link thank you guys see you in next video